if you create an enormous RPG, for example, with 100 or 150 hours of gameplay, very polished and a unique experience, would the consumer be willing to pay more? If they would, they would have more products potentially coming to market. Um, mm. But no one tried it. <laughs> it's something we have been discussing, uh. but we are currently sticking to the practice of industry. Uh, would it be that one company one day that tries to increase pricing? That remains to be seen. Um, 100% no. If you increase the prices, they are already at a breaking point. They're breaking people. People are passing on games because they are $70. We've got, yeah. you know, that's that's a, uh, a utility bill. And it's more than some utility bills are. Um, whenever yeah. people are tightening their belts, this is a luxury item. Gaming is is a is a hobby. It's not anything you need to, you know, have a roof over your head or uh, get you from A to B. So this this is one thing that they are really not understanding. Um, when you get put into a, a CEO position, even if you've worked in the company, you lose touch with the people who are, you know, who were making your games great. You know what I mean? By word of mouth and buying your games. This dude has clearly lost touch with customers. He's lost touch no, with us. No, no, <laughs> no. I think he's right. I think Bye. he's right. I think games need to be more expensive, and I think he needs to be the one to try it. Not you be tell a coward, him. Not be a coward and wait for other companies to try it first. If this is legitimately what Lars believes, yeah. go right ahead. Yes. I'm sure it will be incredibly successful. <laughs> I love this. I'm sure making the barrier to playing these games harder to overcome is a great strategy and i am all for it go right ahead embracer ceo you've got my full support no don't be a coward if you're talking about doing it go ahead and do it if you think it'll be successful go ahead and do it instead of instead of doing the whole let's ride the coattails once somebody else tries it then we all do it you know Mm -hmm. oh Um, you know what i was thinking though you know it'll be the probably the first game to raise that price unless something else comes out before it's going to be gta 6 Oh, GTA oh yeah. this is absolutely. They're they're talking yeah. about making that like a what article did I read? They're talking about it being 150 for the base model. Good lord. What? Said, yeah, and, and no, that could just yeah. be them trying to stir the pot. But I read something <laughs> on it and I said something to my son about it, and he was just like, uh no. Yeah, and then, I think they're like, floating that balloon though. Yeah, and then like a say, month later he was like, I'm getting this day one. And I was like, You better get a job, son. Like <laughs> Yeah. You, you tell you, people it's gonna be 150 bucks, you see the reaction. If mm-hmm. it's overwhelmingly negative, which mm-hmm. then you that, say, Oh, well, we weren't gonna do 150 bucks. We're gonna <laughs> exactly. do 120. Exactly. And then people will wow. be like, Well, oh, that's yeah. that's better. Okay, we'll what, we'll what they're doing now is trying to mm-hmm. test it out and see exactly. what they can get away with. Yeah. It's like what, and, uh, what I think Multiverses was doing as well with charging mm-hmm. people ten bucks for six lives to oh my god. Did you guys hear about that? <laughs> no. Oh incredibly egregious multi transactions that they walked back and they said it was a bug. It was out there for two weeks. Basically, I'm you sure guys are familiar with multiverses, right? It's mm-hmm. Warner Brothers, yep. Smash Brothers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Warner Brothers, Smash Brothers. <laughs> perfect way to put it. Yeah. But you had, um, so there was microtransactions where you spent 10 bucks to refill wow. six lives. Wow. 10 bucks for six lives. So it's that kind of horrible microtransactions that you see in mobile games mm-hmm. brought to, brought to, uh, brought to this. And they walked it back and they said, oh, that was a bug. It's not that it's not in the game. It's just not at that difficulty level. So it's still going to be in there. But for the insane difficulty that hasn't been released yet. That's but that's a, that's a trial balloon. Yeah. They want to mm-hmm. see people's reactions. And it's also the easiest way that you can introduce an unfavorable change. You yeah, say yeah. it was a mistake, but now it's in people's head. Now people know that it's a possibility. Yep. They're not as shocked because it's, they've seen it before. It's the yep. first step to exactly. normalizing this crap. Yes. Yeah. Yep. And how do we get oh, here? I don't know. It's a very good question. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the Casual Consumers live stream every Saturday. Xavier.